Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Ross here, and we're gonna do another City Skylines video. Now, on today's video, I'm gonna go over a mod highlight again. But today, I'm gonna do two different mods in one video because they complement each other very well. The first one is Auto Line Colors, which automatically colors your new lines for buses or subways. And the second one is called Extended Public Transport UI. So let's dive into this and see what they all do. Now first, let's go over to the uh, buses and let's see if we can make a new bus line and what it does for us. So we have a whole bunch of lines over here. As we can see, there's our uh, industry complex. Uh, here's our new area over here. Okay, so this is our new area over here. And we can see that we do have bus lines over here, but let's, let's try something else. Let's make a new bus line, okay? Now I wanna drop it over here, I think think okay so let's um we're gonna start here okay and let's go over here over there nice round okay now we want to hit over here and hit over here and then you can see boom it just changed the color for me it was blue and now it's orange so now it does it does kind of contradict the orange line going in with the rail, but there is no orange bus lanes around here, so that's pretty cool. Um, and just very simple, you just make a line, and once you're done making the line, it makes a different color for you. So let's see here. Here's another good example. Um, we have this is a bus line here. Where do we need to actually bus line? Um, we could use one actually right here. So we're gonna start it. Let's start it where? Let's see, can we, we'll start it here. So we'll create a new line and create. Oh, no. Come on. Create. There we go. Create a new line. And then we're gonna stop up here, here, and back again. So we'll stop there. How far down do we need to go to make that U turn? So here and then well we'll stop there anyway might as well make the stop if we're making the u-turn right okay and then boom we just changed the line so there again now it's dark blue and it doesn't contradict or uh, basically kind of take out which line it is that we can separate the lines here so that's really cool so now let's look at I have 6200 people per week out of 71,000 so eh, not even 10% yet um, and man, they're complaining about low, low, low land value. But we're not doing that right now. This is not the let's play. This is mod highlight. Okay, but so what does this extended public transport UI let us do? Well, what it lets us do is actually click on, let's say, the subways. And now we have Metro Lines 1, 2, 3, 4, and it has the different colors on here. So we can go into Metro Lines. Oops, no, come on. Uh, back in here. So we go into Metro Lines, and now we can see just our Metro Lines here. And we can see we have the white line. So Metro line number one has eight stops. It's carrying 230 passengers and 43 tours. Trip saved is 60%. So this is doing pretty well. The white line is doing very well. And there's vehicles that tells you how many subways are actually on. Now the white line is pretty extensive. As you can see, it kind of makes a nice little triangle up and down. Now, what's our least productive line is, it looks like the orange line. Where's the orange line? Can we find it? That's your line three. Oh, this one. Between our industrial complex and our high rise area. This is saying that it is, has only, it's only doing, uh, was it 60 people and two tours. It's saving 34%. Now, what's our other least productive line is probably this one. It's actually no, but it's 299 for this this line right here. This is Metro Line 5. And this is just going to here and then here. So what we could do right now is, let's see, can we, um, I would like to, uh, let's see. I wanna actually see if we can delete these lines. Okay, so now we can build another line here. And now we'll just make it, we'll walk, once we create a new line, create a new line. And now we'll actually just make this a middle station, meaning that we'll stop at this station. If we can get it, where's the tube? There it is. 
Okay, so we'll stop there. We'll go over into our farming district. And... Actually, you know what? We're going to go into... Umber district as well. And then back again. Okay. And then we'll go back all the way over here. Close off the loop. What color? Oh, made it orange. Man, it looks orange. <laughs> I think that's the best, like... It's just a different shade of orange. Maybe it just goes down the shades for your line colors. So now we actually have that all set up and we'll let that run for a little bit. And let's actually go into our buses and everything. And look, look at this. Now we have really long uh, names here. We can change the names too. So we could just call this Umber, you know, and it'll change it right there, you know, and just put it all the way down the bottom. But we can, uh, we can see that some of these lines are not doing very well. So this is a new line that, uh, that we just built, and it has five passengers. Now that's new, okay, because it's new. Now what's a good p uh, one that we have? Uh, 364, let's see, what's this one have? Can't even see. Oh, see, and also when you click on the, uh, you can actually see cars trip saved 39%. So we can see that we actually, some of our bus lines are doing fairly well. 42% uh, for Spring Hills. Uh, so that is doing fairly well right there. And that's a new one right there. And it's already saving 40, uh, 43% or 39% now. But it, that's just kind of like a circle. It's just dropping them off at the train and subway area. So that's actually not too shabby for a brand new line. Not too shabby at all. Uh, Umber District, we can go over here, and this is just a line into the uh, forestry, and over here, and it's still saving trips. So you, this is a really good tool that you can use um, to actually see how your lines are doing, and then we can see that train line uh, 2, which is uh, connecting our um, high-rise district to our commercial district. So we can see that that's doing fairly well, 321. Now our other one goes from Umber District to where our, my starting area was down to the new area I built in my city before, if you're following my Let's Play. But it basically goes you know, straight down the center and that's doing uh, only 189 passengers, but it's saving 48% car trips. So I don't know really what this 48% saved is like. 48% of what would be a kind of cool answer. Now, I mean, you know, you can't go really into the boats and everything. This is really just for uh, the metro lines, the buses and stuff, because you really can't control airplanes and you can't control shipways. So you're not going to see any kind of stats on that. And for some reason, I just lost like like 2,000 people transporting. But that's that's the mod. I, you know, I hope you guys like it, and I, I recommend it. I mean, there's so many mods out there, but this is definitely one of them that if you're trying to transport, you know, manage a transportation network, this mod is going to be one of your best friends because, I mean, you can find out, like, what lines are doing crappy. So, bus line 10, like, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, bus line 10, he's over here. Oh, well, he was just my freaking bullshit one I made. So, like, I could keep this, or maybe I get rid of it and push it into another line. Um... Because, you know, saving money, but also, you know, saving expenses. But, I mean, it's only getting 62 people. 62 people a week is not that much. But, you know, 417 for bus line number 7 over here. Now, that's pretty de damn decent. And he has a, it does have a long line. But, see, car trip saved only 21%. So, 40, 408 residents are using it. But, for some reason, it's not solving a lot of the car trips. Which again, I don't know, necessarily know where that stat's coming from. So maybe can someone can answer that in the video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys get the mod. Now the mod is going to be both of them. I will be listed in the description below. As always, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you like my content, please do subscribe and join my community. As always, I'm the Flying Ross. And I'll check you guys later.